Hey guys, it is Kim Vogel live with all of you tonight for our Touch Base Thursday on this 4th of July edition. I'm just going to give everybody a moment here to see if I have some people watching me live. I do know that it's the holiday, but I wanted to take uh, an opportunity to go live with all of you before I head out on our vacation. Um, Matt and I will be leaving tomorrow um, morning to head to the airport we fly out hi shireen we fly out at not till 6 30 at night but we have to be there about three hours in advance because it's going to be an international flight um and i chose to not actually have you guys see all of my wonderful face first today because i'm not going to keep you guys too too long and so i thought i'd give you guys some quick announcements we'll give away some prizes from last week and then i know that most people are probably going to be watching this on replay because of the fact that it is the fourth of july holiday and most people are out probably having picnics and things and i am actually home doing last minute things before we leave tomorrow so first of all, I want to uh, make sure you guys know you share my video, you get entered into the drawing to receive free goodies. And last week, um, the two prizes were these gold faceted gems and the um, sequins. These are the um, the basic adhesive backed sequins. And so um, the winners of these, um, we'll start with the gold faceted gems, is Carol Grove. So Carol, I'm gonna get these in your package. Your package will be going out tomorrow with your card kits that you bought for the month of June. I'm gonna slip those right inside of that. That will be going out before I leave. So you will be able to have those um, those card kits. And then the um, second winner um, of the sequins is Lynn Lepard. So congratulations, Carol and Lynn. I just need to write a couple names on here. And I know you guys aren't able to see me today. Um, I actually did do my hair and I did put on a little bit of makeup, but I um, don't think I'll be live with you guys for very long and I wanted to just start this way so that way, um, you know, I'm already where I need to be. So um, up for grabs for sharing this week is going to be the Happiness Blooms Enamel Dots. Now these have retired, but these, um, are still ones that you can still use on uh, your cards. And then I also have a bolt of the lovely lipstick, lovely lipstick ribbon. So hi, Sonia, hi, Kathy, thank you for joining me. Um, so those are the two items up for grabs this week. And what I'm gonna be sharing with you today is one quick and simple card that I created for you just this morning using the Daisy Lane Bundle. And these are the three colors that I chose to use to make my card for you today. I chose the Bermuda Bay, the Gorgeous Grape, and the Melon Mambo. Um, so I cannot wait to get into that and show you guys the card. Before I do, I have a few announcements that I wanna share with all of you. Um, and that is, most of you know that I will be gone on the Stampin' Up! Incentive trip leaving tomorrow. We fly out of Detroit at 6.30 at night. And I'm offering an, a huge online order promotion while I am gone. So anybody who puts in a minimum order of just $40 will receive a $20 goodie package. The goodie package includes a bolt, I'm sorry, a package of rhinestones. It includes um, a package of dimensionals and five free handmade cards. And then everyone's names will be entered into the drawing to receive, one lucky person will receive a $50 shopping spree on me. I always do an ordering promotion while I'm gone because it's all of you, my awesome followers and friends who support my Stampin' Up! business and, and love it as much as I do. So it's a little way for me to be able to give back to all of you um, for loving what I love as well. So um, with that, um, a couple of you asked me if my vertigo was getting better. It is. Um, please pray for me that it continues to stay at bay while I'm on this trip. So um, it's been doing a little bit better, having a little bit of issues, but nothing like I was a couple weeks ago. Uh, and then my classes for July have posted. Um, emails will be going out this week. They're out there on my web, on my blog. They're out there. Um, so you'll be able to find my online classes. Local classes will also post uh, in the next um, week as well. So I've got it all scheduled to still go out. Um, it'll be very transparent to you guys that I'm, you might even think I'm still around even though I'm not. Um, 
I will also be posting on both my page and my group sneak peeks of the trip. So I will, um, you know, when I can give you guys some pictures of things. And I'm also going to, if, if we're allowed to, Stampin' Up's allowed it in the past, we've been allowed to share with you guys a sneak peek of the holiday catalog. Now we can't actually take pictures of the catalog images. Normally we're allowed to give you sneak peeks of products that we receive, things like that. So if we're allowed to do that, I will absolutely do that. So make sure you follow my page, um, go to my group and like it, all that good stuff, like my page, join my group, so that you can see things that we might be getting while we are on that amazing trip. So anyway, hi Carol, thank you for joining in. Okay, so what I want to share with you guys tonight, I think that's all I had in the way of announcements, was to let you guys know that I'm working hard behind the scenes to keep things going while I am gone. So the, um, again, the, the bundle that I chose to share with you today is the Daisy Lane. Now most of you will think that this punch looks very familiar because we do indeed have a large Daisy punch. This was around a couple years ago in the holiday, or in the holiday catalog, in the annual catalog, it carried over. And now they have a medium one that coordinates with this Daisy Lane stamp set. What I like about this though is that this um, the stamp set you can um, use it to, to stamp and punch out both sizes. So if you are purchasing the Daisy Lane bundle I encourage you to also get the large Daisy Punch so that you can get the bigger bang for your buck. Now I'm not offering any kind of an ordering promotion um, this week with my um, Facebook Live because of my online ordering promotion that I'm going to be offering July 5th through the 15th while I am gone. And again, um, all the details of that are um, I mentioned earlier so that you guys will be able to take advantage of that. So let me share with you guys the card that I'm going to be creating with you today. Isn't this gorgeous, you guys? I'm telling you, I struggled to be able to just find um, the few colors that I wanted to use on this card because I liked so many of our Stampin' Up! colors. But I chose to use these three bold colors and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make these flowers using those products that I just showed you. Isn't it pretty? I love it. I wanna try to zoom in a little bit so that you guys can see this just a smudge better. There we go. Okay, so what I did is I used, again, the three colors that I mentioned earlier, um, the Melon Mambo, Gorgeous Grape, and the Bermuda Bay. I was going for a bright color. I really wanted to try to find a really bright color of card. I chose to use basic black for my card base, just so these flower centers would kind of pop. Um, so this is the five and a half by eight and a half, and I already have it scored, so it will fold right at the four and a quarter. And then I used Sahara Sand. I wanted a really good neutral for my mat on this as well. And so I chose to use the Sahara Sand, and I ran it through the basket weaved embossing folder. And I did that in advance, so you can see I've got some really good texture here to that. And let's get into how I did those flowers. They look difficult, they're really not. So I have lots of different scraps of paper. Now what I did, I'm a pink person, all of you know that, so I chose the Melon Mambo to be the bigger flower and these two are the smaller flowers. And I chose to use all of the centers the same. Um, the centers I used my, um, Melody, is it Mango Melody? Because I wanted the yellow to be a little bit brighter and then I used our um, half inch circle punch for the centers. And the punch that I used for the yellows, now I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I should have used, Stampin' Up! has a one and an eighth inch circle punch, and mine is currently being borrowed by my friend who is prepping for my team meeting while I'm gone. So um, being gone for um, almost 10 days, it's kind of tough to kind of plan ahead. So my friend is cutting for all of my, um, my team meeting kits, and the project that they're making for my team meeting uses the one and an eighth inch. So I used um, Stampin' Up's retired seven eighths inch, but I will tell you that it actually would look a little bit better with the, the yellow a little bit bigger. But I had to improvise in a pinch today, um, but I think you guys get the gist of when I show you how I did those, you'll see that it's the same, it's just I, I used a little bit of a smaller punch. So I'm gonna bring in my Melon Mambo ink pad. And what I did is I already have mounted on my blocks. I did not take time to put stickers on. I literally, you guys, designed this card for you today. Um, but I'm just gonna stamp. I did three layers. So I'm gonna stamp this three times onto my strip here of the Melon Mambo. And then using the Great Big Daisy Punch, 
I am just going to punch these out, line them up. They line up really easy. And I'm gonna punch these out. Again, I love how simple these flowers look. Or actually how easy they are to make, I should say. They, um, cause they really truly are. Okay, so there's three of those. And then I'm gonna bring in another little strip of the same color, my uh, Melon Mambo. And I'm going to stamp the little one three times as well in my Melon Mambo ink. So I'm doing the exact same thing that I did previously. This time I'm just doing it with my little, um, the little daisy. I'm gonna bring back in the medium daisy punch and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm just gonna punch these out and they line up pretty easy. Hi Penny and Cindy, I see I've got a few more people out there. Hope you guys enjoyed your 4th of July. Um, we actually just stayed home and um, my husband cut the lawn to get it cut one more time before we leave tomorrow. And the girls helped with that. And I was in the basement some, packing, all that good stuff. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your bone folder. And all I did is I kind of curled the corners um, or the edges of all of these flower petals, just a little bit, okay? And it goes pretty fast. Now you could also make these flowers without stamping the image if you wanted to. Um, I chose to, um, to stamp them because I think that it gives them just a little bit more uh, detail and a little bit more dimension to them. And you're just curling a little bit. And I'm gonna do the same thing with these three smaller ones. And you wanna be careful that when you're doing this, you don't abs accidentally rip a petal because I have done that a couple of times. Um, hi, Jennifer, thank you for joining tonight on 4th of July. Um, I couldn't not go live with you guys the one last time before I leave because two weeks would have felt like forever. So like I said, I won't be live with you guys next week. I will be gone. Um, but I do have lots of different inspirational things that will be posting to my Facebook group for all of you guys while I'm gone. And I'll also be, I do have, I will have internet access. So I will be still posting and things like that um, a little bit because you know, you gotta get in from the heat and um, cool down a little bit. So I will still be posting some, I will have internet access. My husband will have phone access, all the things you have to think about when you're going internationally. But um, so you will still be hearing from me. And then I'm just going to layer these flowers um, together and I chose to do them three each. Now you could also do, if you wanted to, just two each, then you would just spread that out a little bit more, but I wanted it to be nice and full. So there's the three on the bottom. And then I'm gonna do the same thing in the middle of this with the three littler ones. And I'm just using a little bit of adhesive. Some people use glue dots. I'm just using the regular snail and I'm just kind of off centering these. You can see kind of how I'm just off, putting them off a little bit and that way it fills in all that space really nice. And the last one we'll just layer in here like so. There we go. Okay, so you can kind of see how nice that is. Okay, and then I'm going to bring in, like I said, I'm using the 7 8 inch scallop circle. The one that I should be using is the 1 and 8, and it's not here right now. Um, any of you that are joining me uh, late, my uh, friend is cutting all of my make and take kits for my team meeting, and so she's using that punch because it's part of what has to be prepped for my kits. And so um, I'm improvising with the 7 8 scallop that is no longer available but the one and an eighth is the punch that you really should be using for this okay so again you kind of um improvise when you have to so now all i'm doing is cutting little slits up in all of those little scallops and you want to kind of make the in the in the cuts a little bit different um a little bit different uh, lengths because you don't want to accidentally get to the end and cut off your scallops because that could easily happen so Hi, Richie. My sister's on there saying my nephew's telling me hi. So I want to make sure I tell him hi as well. So again, I'm just cutting little slits in all of these. And again, you want to be careful because see how you could easily cut one off? So that's why I put one of them in at a different size. 
And all I did is folded these up a little bit. And you, I, I actually chose to do this um, twice. You probably wouldn't have to, one would be sufficient. But I wanted, again, the dimension, I wanted it to be a full looking flower. So I am going to do this with two of these scalloped circles. And again, remember, you're gonna be using the one and an eighth inch punch because that's the right size for this. And again, I'm just kind of pushing those in, getting a little bit of lift to them. And then we're gonna layer those right in the center of the flower here as well, like that. And then I off-centered off this one just a little bit as well. So there, I kind of had the scallops in between each other. That way you can kind of see the layer underneath. Can you see that kind of? It gives you a better way of seeing the underneath part. And then I just kind of fluffed this up a little bit with my fingernail. Nothing fancy. Then using our half inch circle punch, I punched out a black center. And that is gonna go right in the middle here, like so. And that is how I created the first flower for my card. You see how awesome that is? Now what I did to duplicate it um, for the littler ones is I did not put the bigger layer on the bottom. I simply started that with the medium daisy punch and um, kind of let that you know, be enough for that one. Did the exact same thing with the two layers of the yellow and the layer of the black. And then I made, put some greenery on my card using the Spriggs Punch. Now there are some um, uh, um, stems and things that if I wanted to, I could have stamped onto my card in the Daisy Lane bundle, but I wanted to just use all punched stuff, so I didn't do that. But let me bring the stamp set back in, so you can see that I could have actually stamped some greenery here and, and there. Um, you could also use the leaf punch, but again, that is with my friend who is cutting for my team meeting. And what I did is I actually put this down with some Stampin' Dimensionals, and let me bring in my Stampin' Dimensionals here and just put one in the center of that and put this down on the card. And then I actually used some glue dots to put in my sprigs. And so before I did the other two flowers, I actually did put a couple of these sprigs down on my card. Um, make sure you guys can see this here. So I just kind of put it underneath here and did one there. And did another one here. Now you could actually just leave the card with one if you really wanted to. I think it's beautiful just that way. Um, but again, I chose to incorporate two more. I'm not gonna actually take the time to make two more because I think you guys can kind of understand how I just duplicated that exact same process. And then I added my sentiment. Um, and so for my, oh, and I should tell you, this is I used old olive, just some old olive scraps for that. So you could use any color of green that you have. It'll work the same way. And then using the one and a half inch circle punch, I punched out a circle for my greeting on the back. And I didn't want to use white. I thought white would make this card look a little too stark. And so I chose to use the um, Sahara sand because it would kind of offset my mat and it's a really nice neutral in place of using white. So let me find my scraps here. And I'm telling you that one benefit of creating the project the day that you present it is that everything's right at your fingertips. Like I didn't have to go find anything and everything is here, nothing is forgotten. It was kind of nice actually. I could get used to that. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stamp this onto my scrap here. And that says, the best moments in my life happen with you. Isn't that nice? It would be a great to give to a really good friend as a nice little thinking of you card. And then I'm going to just punch this out. And this I'm punching out with the one and three eighths scallop punch. So the other one is the one and an eighth that we should have been using. And like I said, I had to improvise, but I wanted to keep the scalloped look to my project. And I'll bring the sample in here in just a moment and show you why I chose that. Because you can kind of tell by this being scalloped, it just kind of finishes off the scallop look. 
Then I'm gonna go ahead and adhere with the dimensional as well. And then that just went to my on my card up here like that. I need to put a little bit more adhesive on my card there. There we go. So anyway, like I said, I'm not going to take the time to actually show the other two flowers because if you've if you've joined a little bit late, you can watch the replay. Um, but it's so easy to make these flowers. And in the catalog, they actually have a display um, of it. And, th and this is kind of where I got my idea to do a Facebook Live with all of you tonight showcasing these flowers because in the catalog, they actually have um, this awesome wood slate that they made and they actually used the flowers that I just showcased for you and I know more greenery than what I did but I had some people asking me how they made those flowers and like I said if I had a bigger circle or bigger punch I could have made my center a little bit bigger and the center in the very middle a little bit bigger as well but I think it looks fine just the way that I have done that I like how the the um, creators of this project use different colors for the centers so this pink one right here they used Rococo Rose paired with the um, blushing bride and uh, or I maybe even be the petal pink and it looks really good together with the centers not being yellow here's one that's got two-tone purple I think that would be the Highland Heather and the purple posy but I I love how those looked and that was kind of what gave me the inspiration for my card that I shared with you all tonight now this Daisy Lane bundle is only $35 I think that's a really good deal because of the fact that you do get both the Daisy Lane stamp set and the medium punch the medium Daisy punch um, and if you don't have the large punch yet the large Daisy punch it's in the catalog as just Daisy punch um, this one is $18 so a really good value to be able to make lots and lots and lots of cards using the different colors of scraps great way to use up scrap paper you guys simply by um, stamping some pretty flowers and making some cute cards so that's what I had to share with you guys tonight now I want to make sure you guys know that I am not going to be live next Thursday. I will be um, on our Stampin' Up! Incentive trip to the Greek Isles. Um, like I mentioned earlier, my husband and I fly out tomorrow night. Um, we fly out of Detroit directly to Rome. So yay, it's a direct flight. I'm excited about that. And um, then we board the ship on Sunday and we will start our Greek Isles tour. We go to um, four different Greek Isles. Um, I can only remember the names of two of them, but we go to Santorini, which I cannot wait to go and see. It looks beautiful. And we also go to um, Athens, Greece, and then there's two additional ones that we go to as well. So anyway, just wanna make sure you guys know that I will not be live with you next week. Thursday. I will, however, be sharing with you guys pictures um, as I can. Um, I will have internet on the ship. I don't. I won't have phone coverage, but I'll have internet, so I can Facebook message. I can post on Facebook. All those wonderful things while I'm gone, and I definitely will be doing that. And then just to recap, that my online order promotion will begin tomorrow. You guys will be seeing it posted on both my Facebook page, my Facebook group. I have a couple emails scheduled to go out, but I always offer an online ordering promotion while I am gone as a thank you to all of my customers um, that support me and my wonderful um, Stampin' Up! business that I cannot imagine living without. I love, love sharing projects with all of you. So, um, but that promotion is going to be, you get $20 in free stuff. You get a pack of dimensionals. You get a um, package of rhinestones, five free cards, $20 value um, for putting in a minimum $40 online order. And then you'll also get your name entered into my drawing. One lucky winner, winner will receive a $50 shopping spree of your choice of Stampin' Up! products. So anyway, um, thank you guys all so much i will miss you guys next week but like i said i'll be posting um sneak peeks of things that we might be getting from the um holiday catalog and i'll share as much as i can with all of you as um as fast as i can so anyway um thank you guys for stopping tonight and taking time out of your schedule on our fourth of july holiday here in the u.s and i look forward to seeing you all back here in two weeks um seems so long and i'm not sure what i'll be sharing with you yet but i'm sure it will be something fun so anyway have a great evening everyone and i will be back on li live with you all in a couple weeks have a great weekend bye